Hello everyone and welcome to Shadows of Rose. This is the DLC chapter that goes with Resident Evil Village. I didn't get around to playing this when it came out. I actually forgot that it came out, so I decided to wait until this revisit series to get into it. So now that we're done with the main game, we're going to get into Shadows of Rose. I have no idea what we're getting into. All I know is that it's third person, and I have seen the intro cutscene because I tried to record this video four days ago, but people have been doing construction outside or like chainsawing trees or some shit. And I just, I didn't want that going on in the background. It was super annoying. So I had to stop and wait. And now we're all good. We're clear. Welcome to Shadows of Rose. Let's get into it. Standard difficulty. I know this cutscene, but I'm still just going to mute up. So if you guys don't know what's going on here, you can experience it without me talking over it like a moron. So I'll be back once the cutscene's over. Hey, Kay. Sorry I'm late. That's okay. I'm just enjoying the day. You said you had something important to tell me? I hope it's not about Chris wanting me to join his operation because I already told him that's not happening. See what he puts you and the rest of his hound wolf squad through. No, oh, thank you. It's not about that. It is about you. Me? I. If I worry about you, how is um? How are things at school? <laughs> Seriously, that's what you wanted to talk to me about? That group of mean girls still hassling you? I mean, are they still treating you like a freak? Hey. Uh uh. Look at me. You are not a freak. I am. I know I am. That's why I keep my distance from everybody at school. If they knew what I really was. So... You don't have any friends that you can talk to? <laughs> talk to? About what? How I'm hardly even human? How I'm some kind of horrendous monster? <laughs> Hey, it's okay. I hardly ever murder my friends. What if there were a way to get rid of your powers? I'd get rid of them in a heartbeat. All right, well, I think there's something I need to show you. You already know about Miranda and the mutamycete, how she researched it obsessively and performed experiments on human subjects. Like me. Exactly. Uh, what you don't know is that we recently found some of her research. Apparently, she discovered a purifying crystal that can remove the mutamycete from its host. Purifying crystal? If we can get our hands on one of these, we might be able to weaken or remove your powers entirely. Are you kidding me? No. No, but her notes are incomplete. However, I think I have an idea where we can find the rest of her research. Then let's do it, let's find it. Where is it? Uh, in there. What? That's a fragment of the Megamycete. It absorbs and stores memories from people who pass away in close proximity, including Miranda and everything she knows. If you enter its consciousness, you might be able to solve the mystery of the purifying crystal. Wait, what do you mean enter its consciousness? Oh, so, okay, so, you, your deep connection will allow you to explore the information within. That sounds crazy. You sound crazy. Yes, 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 Rose, but not dangerous, right? Think of it just like walking through somebody else's memories. You really think this can work? I think it's worth trying. What do you have to lose? How do I even do this? <laughs> Shit, I, I don't know. Try reaching out to it. See what happens. Okay. Fine. What the hell? She sees things that aren't there. Creepy. Stay away from 
Still here? Kay. Kay? Where are you? Kay! This isn't right. Okay, and this is where. I ended up having to stop it and the sensitivity the lag the sensitivity is crazy low so I need to turn that up it's still super low is there like a quick turn okay there's a quick turn so I can at least yeah this should be fine, as long as I don't have to do, like, super big turns. Well, Rose, this is your shadows, if I'm going by the name of this DLC chapter. I hope it's good. I really like the concept of Rose as a character. Can I... Like, take something off the wall, use it as a weapon. I changed my mind. I need to turn the sensitivity up even higher. That's good. That's a good sensitivity. Hey, this looks like the areas we were at as Ethan in the castle. I'll be next if I'm not quick. I need to get that crystal. What crystal? So I can't run, and that is... That is going to bug me for... Ever. I hate not being able to run. I know it's probably just so this will look more cinematic. Ew. It's so gross. What is this? It's mold, but it's like red too. That's nasty. Okay, I'm assuming this is where I need to go, so I'm going to go down the other path first. What's down here? There's got to be something to interact with. It's a shoe. Anything? No? Went all the way back there just to see a bloody shoe. I don't even get to take it. Honestly, I'd rather wear that than these white sneakers. Is someone there? Dangerous here. What is? Why? Hang tight. I'm gonna see if I can find a key. Dun dun dun. Still can't run. I do like the atmosphere that it's building. That's pretty nice. I hope we actually don't end up getting rid of the powers because it would be cool to have a main character in Resident Evil that has some of the the good powers. <laughs> she moved forward for some reason I thought she was gonna just Slap her head into it. That would have been brutal and completely unnecessary, but kind of funny. I 
sí. I can't read that. That's my name. I know. I played Village. Oh, Jesus. I would appreciate it if the game would stop lagging like that. He's quite disorienting. Ew. Why is this mold all red? I don't know, but I'm gonna step in it. Oh, you won't let me. Time to view key items. Wow. It's a cell key. And it looks like a key. And it goes to a cell. So, you're, you're not wrong about that. That was... That was mold. I was gonna say, was that mold or blood? To create art. Simply add to the rabbit's carcasses. Decay is not an issue. Note, spruce them up with a bit of makeup. It makes them seem more alive. Ew, taxidermy. Gross. Taxidermy is disgusting. This is what village was missing some actual atmosphere going on as much as the gameplay of that game is fun it's got no atmosphere so i'm already liking that part of this dlc Oh, I'm actually in control. I was like, oh, that was quite a weird interaction. Nope, I'm in control. I can move now. Wait, wait up. That's what happens when I look away for a second. So we ran into and were saved by ourself. I was going to say that voice on the other end of the door calling for the key sounded kind of like the same actress, but I didn't think it was worth pointing out. That I was just being crazy. Yeah, let's just casually move a dead body. No questions about it. Hey, wait, where are you going? Down here, Rose. Can I go through? Thank you. I still can't run. Do I need to get that ability? Oh, hey, it's Rose. It's Rose again. It's gotta be through this one door that's actually open. Need to find that handle quickly. Go deeper. I wanna go higher. No, that looks like uh, it just leads back to the main tunnel. Maybe if I need to get away from something, I'll go through there. 
As for right now, that door's locked. I still can't run. I don't know if it's just because I'm in a section that's cinematic, or it's trying to be kind of cinematic, so it doesn't want me to run through it, or if Capcom just thinks girls can't run. Oh, that's nasty. They're all me. I mean, you. Us. We're basically Venom. handle we can unlock the door now come on you should be creeped out and terrified which means you should be able to run now oh yeah that's molded up we do need to go back through here ew Now we can run. We just we did just need to get to the part where it gave us the ability to run. Can you like open? And there's no reason for you to open that slowly. Thank you. Jesus Christ. No way. This section got super loud all of a sudden. I might have to turn up my mic game. I don't know if the balance is off, because I balanced it around the audio from earlier. What? A dead end. It's not a dead end. We just need to get, get the sconces into the Briz ears. Uh. Oh, you mean it's not the same puzzle that this room was taken no. from? was a path. I feel like there was something down there I could have snigged. I don't know if I'm supposed to be looking for secrets or what. Uh, there's the door. Almost missed it. Do I get a flashlight? Thank you. This still feels more cinematic than interactive. But that's fine. It's the start just getting into the real stuff. Ugh, I hate crawling. Reminds me of crawling through the vents in Dead Space. So just creepy. Castle Damatresk? What are we doing in Castle Damatresk? What... What are you? Okay... What were those things? What is happening here? Not until I get this out of my body. There's a crystal here that will remove the mold. I, I need to find it. And I'm not leaving until I do. Who are you? M my guardian angel? Do you have a name? You're an 
an angel than Gabriel, Michael? Can't believe she just happened to guess its name. Okay, is there anything in here that we can grab, or do we just go through the door? Why did it let it go through this one? It pointed us straight towards this one. Oh god. Exploration! And lag. Okay, gotta see what's in here first. This is where we were strung up by our hands as Ethan. Looks like an actual place now, though. And there's nothing in there. First aid. Why'd you make me open the inventory for that? These poor things. That's creepy. Is that the Duke? Looks like we caught another. Lively now, aren't you? You should have put that effort into running. It would have made the chase that much more thrilling. It would seem this little rabbit lacks the necessary fortitude. <laughs> a pity. If you had shown a little grit and actually escaped, that purifying crystal would now be yours. The crystal? You didn't have to do that to my man, the Duke. You didn't have to make him creepy. He's such a cool, chill dude. What is this? I can't interact with it. It was glowy. I thought it'd be something. Oh, the chair? That's messed up. There's so many cutscenes of things randomly. I think I walk into a room and there's a cutscene. And I gotta go quiet because I don't want to interrupt it. I want to know what's going on. Uh, cussing, that's what now. And I won't say no to a pistol. That takes forever to get ready, I guess. Rose isn't trained. Damn it, I thought that might be something. I wonder where I might find the next. Acquire the purifying crystal makes sense. They're gone. Let's get it. This 
must be the crystal. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Gimme. Uh, we need three masks again. Yeah, it looks like three. The disciples await their masks. Bronze, silver, gold. With their garb arrayed, the light shall be released. Okay. These plant bulbs are kind of creepy. Can't go upstairs. I'm not. Can we, do we go through? We go through this door. Man, we start. This area is so confusing to me. Just because it's like remixed, it's got so many changes in the way it's presented. We need bolt cutters. Come on, man. We gotta go to the basement? Or is it just gonna be in the kitchen? I don't know. Okay, it takes five headshots to kill them. That's pretty insane. There's ball cutters, and there's nothing in there. Okay, it is just the kitchen. Good, I did not want to have to go down in the basement. Let's go open up this door. Over here. Are you going to turn into a shotgun? If you really want to help, you can back me up against those things. I can't. So... I mean, he gave us some pistol ammo, so I'll, I won't complain about that. I don't like that one bit. That doesn't lead anywhere. So we have to go down and around this thing. Gross lumpy thing growing here? I know. I would like to destroy it, but I don't know how. Core. You mean that gross lumpy thing? How am I supposed to break it? My powers. I literally came here to get rid of them. Fine, but how? What am I supposed to do? What's that? Let's go, Rose. You shouldn't want to get rid of your powers. They are fun, probably. I don't know yet. I haven't got to actually use them myself. I'd like to... Oh, that's a chair. I thought it was like a green mass in it. I was like, that's disgusting. I can use these things and combine them together. Herb plus chem fluid. Gunpowder plus chem fluid. There might be more items I can combine. I need to do whatever I can to survive. So they went back to how it was in 7, where you have to choose between healing or ammo. Instead of both of them being separate things. I do like that a lot better. Having to choose between the two makes it a lot more interesting.
and I just get away from that perfectly fine. What the hell? Thought I was screwed. God, it's so dark. It's so easy to get turned around and stuff. I don't. I barely recognize where I am. This room is fucked up. With a ladder? Couldn't we just, like, lay the la- Okay. I I'll accept it. Just this once. It's a lot more cinematic than I was expecting. A lot more little cutscenes in between all the gameplay bits. Gonna have to see how it plays out as we get further into it, but so far I'm, I'm, I'm liking it more than Village itself. I'll give it that much. I gotta see how the story plays out though, because story plays the biggest role in RW variant flask one story plays the biggest role in how I feel about these kinds of things because if the story sucks I'm gonna wait until after this cutscene for about 30 minutes. I'm gonna read this and then I'm gonna get back to what I was saying. All right, you know, I'm gonna say what I was saying and then I'm gonna read this. It can wait. Story is the determining factor in how I feel about something because if the story is good, then it might make up for some subpar or mediocre gameplay and if the story is bad then the gameplay has to be good for me to like it so so far the gameplay is it's okay we haven't really gotten into the thick of it yet so i can't judge it on that and the story i'm hoping it's good I have found a means of dramatically destabilizing parts of the mutamycete network by introducing a disruptive force to block the autoinducers they use for communication. For example, the hard-packed cores of mold known as sclerotia begin to break down on a cellular level and disintegrate when thus disrupted. Sclerotia form when the mutamycete develops in new locations serving as a sort of anchor point or foothold. They are often associated with a patch of liquid void through which the mold has spread. When the auto-inducers of the sclerotia are disrupted, it begins to break down. Any liquid void connected to the sclerotia will also disintegrate. It would appear that destabilizing the sclerotia sends a signal indicating that location is no longer viable for mutamycete habitation, triggering a full-scale retreat. So basically, pop that shit. For right now, though, I don't know how long Shadows of Rose is, and I don't want it to be over in, like, two or three parts. It is just a DLC chapter, so I'm going to try to keep these to about 30-ish minutes per episode. So I'm going to wrap this one up here. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.